Good afternoon. I'm John Wang, a second generation Chinese American. First off, I'd like to thank the Students for Fair Admissions for fighting for our rights and the Asian American Coalition for Education for giving me a platform to share my experiences. As an applicant of Harvard University last year, I'd say I was a pretty solid student athlete. I got a 1590 on the SAT, had a 4.65 GPA, was a Florida State Quiz Bowl champion, and was ranked 180th in my class on the Rolex Junior Golf Rankings. I'm not gonna sit here and complain about how I'm a victim, but I just wanna point out a few inconsistencies. Colleges say that Asians aren't personal, or personable, that we don't have passion for what we do, that we simply do what our parents tell us to. But at least from my experience, this is simply not true. I trained very hard, putting my sweat and sometimes tears into the game of golf, because I wanted it, not because someone told me to. In fact, I cared so much that I began studying golf stats, eventually creating a data analytics app to help me and other junior golfers identify our weaknesses and determine what to practice. The best part of it all is that when I was being recruited for a program, I was told that I can't major in computer science and play collegiate golf at the same time. Turns out, they don't care about passion. What universities like Harvard really want is to hit their numbers on demographics, limit Asian American acceptance, and lock us into a rat race. They trot out their diversity slogans to defend this policy, but do they really care about African and Latino Americans, or do they have some other ulterior motive? You don't need a tinfoil hat to see that this looks a lot like the Jewish quotas of the 1920s. I think this is the tip of the iceberg of a larger problem plaguing the Asian American community. We're easy to pick on and we don't stand up to ourselves. We don't stand up for ourselves, just like the Jews used to be. So what did they do to rise up? They became more represented in government and took over the legal and banking systems. Because at the end of the day, money and power do a lot more talking than statistics and debate. Like the Jews, we need to fight for every right we deserve. I'd like to thank the Students for Fair Admissions for starting a chapter in the fight for equal education rights. I strongly support SFFA's cause, not just because it benefits me, but because as MLK said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. This is only the beginning, but I'm determined to keep fighting the good fight, and I hope you guys will do the same. Thank you.